One thing that's really nice in Serif Web Plus is you can also play with the navigation bars. Right now we have something that's a little dull. I went into the master page because that's where you need to change your navigation first. So go into master page A and I'm just going to highlight the navigation once. Now there's an edit navigation bar that lights up on the left hand side. I can either click that or I can right click and click edit navigation bar. It's going to give you information on the navigation type and we want to base it on our site structure that we've already created. Now I can click this bar that says type and there are all sorts of different design options that you can choose within Serif Web Plus X5. Some really cool ones. This one I thought was kind of cute. So I'm looking at Home, Products, Gallery, and this Navigation Graphic 8. And I'm going to say OK. Now what happens is that this opens up and this exclamation point shows saying it's too small or too big for the area. So I simply click and drag each of my modules. Now I'm seeing that the welcome is clipped. I'm not sure if that's actually, and contact is as well. I'm not sure if that's actually going to occur when I go to publish it. Let me see if that's going to be a problem. Again, I click File, Preview. I'm going to preview it in Chrome and see if this is actually going to be a problem for me or not. And it shows just fine. So when I lay my mouse across these, it shows the software page we just created as a child of products. So yeah, this works just fine. And what it's doing is it's grabbing the color off of my color scheme designer. Now I'm going to show you something else too that's important. When I've highlighted my navigation bar, you'll see that my other navigation bars change up here. When I click off of it, that's when I have my site structure, my site manager, my color scheme designer, and my layout guides all here. When I switch, switch and I go to my navigation, it changes. So I just want to make you aware of that. Now, where it's getting the color from, I go into Edit Navigation Bar again and I click Appearance. It will tell me when I edit this where exactly the color is coming from. Now that blue isn't really exactly what I have in mind. I'm going to highlight the blue because remember when you're working in Serif Web Plus or in any graphic design program for that matter, it all appears in layers. And so I've highlighted this one. I'm going to click Format and Fill. And I see that it's grabbing the color from 5, the num number 5 on my color wheel. If I click Edit, I see that it's 0E4861. I'm happy with that, so that's great. Maybe what I want to do is I want to make the highlight behind it a little darker. I can go into Format, Fill, and maybe what I want to do is choose 12, just to give it a little bit of depth. I like that. And I click Commit Changes. I click OK. I'm going to take that out on the street and see how that looks. it's a little darker. So that is, in a nutshell, how you can change your navigation bars around. I'm also going to need to do the same thing in my other, in my other master page, yes? So I've got master page A open. I'm simply going to go to master page B, highlight my navigator. I can either right click or I can click over here for edit, edit navigation bar. Go into type, graphic, I chose Graphic 8 and hit OK. Then I just got to stretch it to adjust it. And remember, Master Page A is only tied to my, my blog, right? So let me go test that blog page and see what that looks like. We put it in Article 1, our frame document. When we go to preview the site, it will show the navigation bars with master page B tied to the blog. So here are our pages. 
and there's the blog. So that's how you do new navigation bars inside Serif Web Plus.